Welcome everyone to round six of the Dynamic Knights Esports GT3 series. And we are at Spa, ladies and gentlemen, for the feature and sprint race with our classic three teams from Hyundai, Toyota and Lexus. As we are near the end of qualifying, I decided to start a little bit late as the action's quite um, not really need to watch qualifying. There's just two minutes and 15 seconds left and we have Viper in P1, GT Banana Josh in P2, Bothod P3, Lunacy P4, False Equations P5, and KD907 P6, and Carl 7th and Lopez 8th. So that's our top eight currently. We have 14 drivers as well, so we'll go further down the order. As we can see, we've got BK, Stone Tail, The Smeg, James Cruz, and Reedy. So that is the full uh, extent of the whole qualifying as we have a very slow false equation. Now we're here for a pretty long race. I'm pretty sure it's only a few laps. Um, quite extensive amount of laps. Let me just double check. So round six at the Circuit de Spa. We've got 17 laps for the feature race and 13 laps for the sprint race with a total of 200 kilometers around the circuit here. It's one of the longest uh, tracks that we have uh, for the sprint and feature race, unless um, um, unless I'm incorrect. We're, oh yeah, we got Interlagos. That, oh no, spies a lot further. Sorry, do apologise. Um, and then the following race uh, will be at the Autodrome, the Autodrome Lago Mamurio. I think that's round seven which is also another feature in sprint race, so I'll be commentating that race. And then it's an Enduro race at the Nürburgring, the 24-hour circuit, so the full extensive circuit around there. That also includes the GT circuit. So that is round eight, which will not be streamed. But that is the end of qualifying. We have Viper, Smeg, Banana Josh, Bothard. Uh, it goes so quick. It's ridiculous. Fully updated everyone's liveries from the Banana Cake Pie Racing Division. Yeah, they're looking pretty uh, schnazzy here. As I think, um, we are off. We nearly, nearly uh, get the replay system up and running. Two, one, and away we go here at Spa for the feature race. As Viper gets in a fantastic start, Smeg is right behind, and. I don't think I'm allowed to use the feature during the race. I don't know how I got it working last time because R1 does not want to work at all. I was using it during qualifying before I started the stream. But I guess we'll be using these cans from now on as they go right through to Aruj and through into Radion up the camels up the camels straight here. So it doesn't seem to be a lot of uh, any incidents throughout here but look at the new colourful cars here from the Banana Cake Pie Racing Division. Stands out so well there. Look at the look at the snap gun. Uh, car livery looking fantastic as yeah I, I don't know how I get it, get it to work sometimes honestly R1 works and then sometimes it doesn't but no not a lot of movement as it is quite a difficult uh, place to overtake especially with these GT3 cars they're just so heavy you need to find where they get those uh, overtaking spots it's really just um, who can get who can have the less individual errors causing these drivers to have these uh, mistakes like that. This banana cake pie is in P5 currently. Now his car is known for having the, le the, the least amount of fuel consumption so he'll be allowed to use, uh, extend his first stint and potentially pit a lot less but we're looking at an average time of around two minutes and two seconds here so we are here for quite some time as vape as vape uh, vaporize sorry I believe he's already got a six tenth lead so the smeg is right behind which is going to be going to be good because every time viper has decided to attend a race he has absolutely domi dominated the field 
when it comes to it. He's only gone P1. Now let me have a look at the standings to see if there is anything that's been updated from the Endure race from last week. And some drivers I'm noticing on has gotten already some time penalties, but they take they get a huge amount of time to to serve those penalties. So this is at the end of uh, round five. Uh, Bod Hot is still leading the championship, 1,400 points total on the dot, no more, no less. GT Banana Josh, 1,141 points. So he is only he's there's a bit of a margin there. And then Curving Texas on 1,002 points. And then we go back to three digit numbers 992 for the Smeg, 926 for KD, and 890. And then all the way down the bottom, we have drivers that are not really attending, but they're still um, around good value points for the team. Uh, now, that was for the overall. I think this is for the Enduro. So Enduro-wise, which happened last week, uh, Bodhod is still leading that championship, so he's leading both championships. He's on 591 points. And Banana Josh is behind him once again on 534. So there's still a bit of a margin between those two, but plenty to uh, battle for. But P3 and 4 are on the same points. 414 points equal with KD and Curving Texas. And then we're at the 384, Lopez and Carl on 360. And then it drops down to the, the low 300s. Going on to the manufacturer's points, uh, Banana Cake Pie Racing Division in the Hyundai, or Hyundai, is on 4,826 points with a 700 point lead over Kenny Motorsport in the Toyota, which is 4,143 points. So there's a huge margin, and then there's even a bigger margin towards the third constructors team, which is Team Max Speed and the Lotus. Uh, the big difference that goes into these manufacturers is the attendance. Uh, Team Max Speed really only has three drivers that attend each week, whereas the rest of the field have all five drivers uh, here on. Well, Banana Cake Pie Racing Division is the only team that has five drivers every single week. Uh, Kenny Motorsport uh, only has uh, roughly around three on average, but when he gets the filler, which is Vapor, it's being P1 with fastest lap every single time. Kenny Motorsport, with a consistency of Banana Josh, is in the P2 slots usually. So it's try so he's maintaining good points, but unfortunately it is a team effort and falls behind. And when I look back at my screen to have a look at the race, everything seems to be the same except for around back here as KD and False Equations ring around the outside. There seems to be a small amount of contact that caused his car to go into Ghost which has opted for the safest, safest option to keep all the drivers on the circuit and minimise the damage towards them as he gets a penalty for that action as well. As... Oh, no, I don't want that. So, KD is in P6. I think he's gone a few positions up. Hopefully the lag is not a big uh, issue here. Um, Circuit the Spa is particularly a very exciting track in the F1 cars with high speeds. Obviously going through Arrugia and Radion, even through Blanchemont through here, and even uh, the Camel Straight and the bus stop, all through here really. It's just a phenomenal um, experience in the F1 car, but in a GT car, with all that extra weight, uh, maintaining high speeds as well as um, deep under braking moves is going to be quite difficult, as you can see with False Equation KD going quite wide to defend that line. But False really wants to get back in front as KD goes deep into the bus but can, but can park the car and force False to uh, try and ring around the outside as Lunacy <laughs> with a big old tail slapper uh, causing him to lose quite a bit of time to the cars in front 
further down the order, we have James Cruz, Kyle Reedy, I believe Lopez has decided to pit, or he's made a huge mistake. But Viper, once again, four second lead already. Uh, Smeg with only nine tenths behind his team, uh, in front of his teammate, Banana Josh. But then there's a two second lead, so maybe the max speed car is quite perfect around this, the circuit to spare. Um, what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> what the f <laughs> Nah, that's it, <a>, nah. <laughs> Get fucked, Ice Man. <laughs> she fucking buys merch. So, Ice Man has decided to buy um, a. S a sweatshirt, I think it was also a snapback I saw, that popped up. That was probably, that was probably the most myth thing I've ever seen. So I actually have to follow up on that to actually see if I can actually give them that, those items, because <laughs> it's the first time I've ever seen that, let alone someone actually doing so. No, 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 it says he, he has purchased. Wait, he's actually per it's already purchased. Wait, what? Hold up, I need to actually check this. <laughs> Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I need to see if he's actually just straight up bought merch. Um. Oh, where can I check? Smart move. As Vapor and the Smeg go and pit at the same time, so they're following the strategy. I generally need to see if he's actually done it. Uh, maybe I have to go somewhere else for this. I think here, maybe? Uh, merch. Oh, so there's actually an order. Oh. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually done it. If you bought matches, uh, GT Sport and Vapor have actually signed to battle here, as uh, Banana Josh actually hasn't pitted at this stage. Wow, well, hey. So that's fucking cool. I'm just gonna replay the alert just to see exactly what he's bought. A sweatshirt and a snapback. You're a fucking beast, dude. <laughs> that's fucked. <laughs> You're gonna be the first person rocking Dynamic Nights Esports merch. You're an absolute beast. Jesus Christ. Um, so the Smeg with his pit stop already. Oh, big tail uh, snapper right there, man. He, he got the car under control as we've got a ghost in Bodhot. So he's all the way already ringing on the back of Bodhot here. And let's have a look to see if Bodhot is pitted as well. He has not. So the leading cars are Vapor and the Smeg. The pit stop is obviously quite short, especially in these GT cars. But look at this, I think he might make a move around the outside here, ladies and gentlemen. No, we might see him go actually around the outside of the bus stop chicane. Here we go, under braking. And Bothod's going to maintain the position. He might go into the pits as he does, so he filters in to the pits. And Banana Josh, Banana Cake Pie follows in. And they have decided to start on the mediums. I want to see how long this pit stop takes. So Banana Cake Pie is in. And Lunacy's right there, so the pit stop doesn't take any time whatsoever. 
But we're already up to lap six, ladies and gentlemen. With those two minutes, uh, it's around two minutes and 22 seconds. Oh, two minutes, 10 for Vapor's uh, racing abilities. Since there's so much um, higher. Well, he's just, a, he's just a quick lad. So, obviously, the top three, I think I've already been, that's already been sorted out. Let's have a look further down the grid. Actually, four, five, six, and seven are really close together. So, we'll stay on board with them for the meantime. Banana cake pie is nearly within that one second range. Obviously, it doesn't mean anything. There's no DRS, but it's just more, more or less, adding extra pressure towards his own teammates. Because it is a banana cake pie racing division seven six five. As Bodhod rings around the inside, going into the house section house corner don't know the name of it so yeah with those fresh tires KD is just gonna get thrown into the dirt here as he I think KD is actually racing for banana cake pie racing division He's got the same he actually is four five six seven all, th all four of them and the final driver would be Reedy and he's um, all the way at the bottom of the grid currently as KD and Lucy pit, so they're doing a um, lap six and lap seven strategy. 